Do you believe in the global warming, Littlefoot? Because I believe in climate change. It, it, well, that's where we have the problem, right? By calling it global warming. Yes. Because then so it's, it's a misnomer. Because then when it's like 38 degrees in late April in New York City, people are like, where's your global warming now? <laughs> I observed that Biden. You don't recognize Biden as Anyway, here you go, guys. Here's a plate of brown. Holy shit, look at this. Are you serving this year? Is this a, this is just for us for now to test and see if it's Oh good. my god, that smells amazing. Yeah, well, that's what you get when you soak it in awesome beer for too long. Can I have my own fork? I have a cold sore. <laughs> yes, please have your own <laughs> fork. No, use the fork that I picked out for you yesterday. What's the where's, where's the fork that Ron touched? We don't want that one. Oh, these are nice forks. Wait, Matt, what is this? So well, that's beef. No, I know, but what? What? Called carbonade flamande. It's Belgian beef stew. Belgian beef stew. Yeah, and you, yeah, taste it, but then you got to mix the fries with the mayo. And I don't do. I don't do mayo. You have oh, sorry, he it, but he does. I didn't. But he does fruity stuff in his coffee. Whoa! Oh my god! I mean, I taste all of it. Holy shit! Is that both pretty good, huh? What do you do with the mayo? The fries and the mayo? Yeah, yeah. so that's like, us. All right, you do uh, you do a dip ski and a little and a little, a little brown spin. sauce. A dip ski and a spin. A dip ski and a spin. No, I'm just gonna go with the dip. Fine. I'm not gonna do the spin. Yeah. Oh my god! I'm glad to hear it. We're too far away to do the spin, so we're just gonna. You got any rice on. back there? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but I got a Mexican lager if you want one. No, I'm not. You're not getting me to drink. That's like a little party. What's this thing? Oh, this is a Mexican style pale lager. Let's see what it tastes like. Wait, are you opening up the bar soon? Do we have to end? No, we have time. Oh, oh, all right. We have a little time. You talk hour. to Matt. All right, we have I'm another gonna go, hour. I'm going to go feed the meter. Oh, wait. You have to feed a meter. Oh, you're, right. not, you're not doing the, the app? Come on over, this Matt. It doesn't work right. Really? All right. What do we get? We got, oh my God, we got $5. Spawn. Have Matt take this across the street to buy some milk so live streamers can enjoy a damn cup of coffee in the mornings. Clean the place up a little. Yeah. Who needs milk, man? Dude, I although I'm drinking it black and it's you know it's, it's great, good. right? Yeah. I'm drinking Save it. Save like, the calories. I'm drinking it like a little foot's heart. <laughs> I used to say I like my coffee like my women. Well, everyone does that one. Chopped up in the freezer. Oh, well, all right. They don't do it that way. That's for sure. Oh, my God. What, what are you drinking on the side? Mexican lager. Can I just smell it? I'm a smeller. Do you have bad I breath? Do I have bad breath? If you're a smeller, you oh, know. Oh, my God. I want one of those. Just take a sip. I'm not just a little no, sip, baby. No, it's all right. No, you know no, you want it. No, it's not noon yet. Actually, I, I don't even know if I'll drink it all today. Don't drink then. Okay. You, you love Elon Musk? Yeah, I do. I love him too, but I'll just check it. No, I do love him. Okay. I think I he's him. out of his fucking mind, but I love him because being a content provider, I I know pretty much I can put whatever I want on Twitter and it's not going to get yanked. X, like yeah. I gave up. I, I couldn't live stream on TikTok anymore. They were yanking my feed every other live stream. So, yeah, that's why I love Elon Musk. He's out of his fucking mind. Yeah, he is. And that's okay. You know you need. But as far Crazy as like uh, guys that try to like throw content out there and speak their mind, mm -hmm. he still allows Amen. it. He still allows it. But Although you it's yanking your feed, uh, and he let he just let him post it. <laughs> Elon Musk is yanking, yanking my feed. You just uh, who's yanking your who's yanking whose feed? TikTok yanks my feed. They are a bunch of feed yanks. And I don't like that TikTok's going okay. away because it just like. That's the that's the issue Washington decided to take on. Both sides got together to ban TikTok, but they're not going to get together for all the other heavy issues in America. It's so stupid. Pretty stupid. Right? Absolutely. Because China, they already got all our info. Where do you think these things are made? Mike Bergen Jr., it's 5 o'clock somewhere. Oh, cheers. You know I'm in Queens. Cough, cough. It's not 5 o'clock anywhere, Mike Bergen Jr. It's 18 past. Right. And and if I do go to Queens, I'll look you up. 45 minutes, it'll be. In London, Dublin. Yeah. Wait, forty-five minutes. What? He knows exactly when it's going to be five o'clock in Dublin. Oh, Dublin. That's, yeah, Ali just knows that. Dublin and about It's one of his minutes? savant gifts. That's that's a great gift to have, though. It really is savant. You can add six hours to it. 
To me, to me, yeah. any, any addition, any addition. Wait, you got spring rolls too? Yeah. What kind? These are the corned beef spring rolls. Oh my God, he's got corned beef spring rolls. They've been mm. laying around since St. Patty's Day, <laughs> so good luck with that. <laughs> That's not true. We made them before St. Patty's. <laughs> All this stuff is not true, I, you know, because I told him your your chili's a little spicy. Mm. But I'm an old man. I, I I'm an old man, so I gotta like calm down on the spice. I, I crop dusted my whole family because of your chili, yeah. and they you they, can blame me for that one. And they all yelled at the same time. Oh my god! And I thought I was damn like, hard. I go <laughs> play Matt. We made a we made an actual noble effort to keep the chili not too spicy today. So we'll see what happens. We made a noble effort. I kept trying to put spicy stuff. Yeah, honestly, it's it's his chili's amazing. It really is. So. Oh, Matt, how's the dog? Oh, we need shit. a dog update. She's all right. She uh. Wait, she, let me explain. So your dog needed knee surgery. That's right. Her back right knee. Back right. Oh, that's right. I forget dogs have four knees. I swear to God, for a second, I was thinking they only had yeah. two. <laughs> Wait, so the back right, you said? That's right. Back right knee went. Yeah, it's the rear passenger side. Right. All right. So why did the knee go? Do you throw the tennis ball too much or something? She doesn't do tennis balls. She can't. But what, uh, why she did can't track a ball in the air. Why did the knee go? Um, her breed has wimpy knees, and she's she's pretty explosive. So if she sees a rabbit or or a squirrel, she's gone. And gone real hard. She's a pretty strong dog. So her breed, they typically have weak knees, and um, the X-ray confirmed that. So the ligament is all torn on the front. So what she needed, the doctor needed to separate the knee, cut the bone out, and install a metal plate onto the bone, and then reconnect it to the lower leg. So it's a substantial surgery. They used to put dogs down for that. Look at this shit. Yeah, right? exactly. I thought about it. Wait, you thought? Why would you th think about it? Man, they wanted ten grand. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What's the price? You know, it, I, got, it actually ended up being thirty-two fifty at the end. That's wait, not thirty-two dollars. You got X-rays of the dog's. Yeah, look at the screws in there. Wait, which one am I looking at? Oh, damn! Look at this. I don't know if you can see this. It's gonna be a little hard, but yeah, there's a screw. It's a little hard to see, but that's uh, Matt's dog. The lady screwed my dog. Knee. Holy crap! How long was the surgery? It was a couple hours. Let's see if you see that one. Huh? Oh, huh? yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. But she showed me the points, how they came through, and she hit her. Like, it's supposed to just put, protrude on the other side of the bone. All of those screws are in the right wait, spot. And what is this shit? That's in, it, in the those are her. Permanently? Those are the screws, yeah. Oh, wait. So and That's then, screwing this metal plate to her bone. Oh, that's what you said. Okay. That's holding it, it in there, yeah. Where, where was the knee, the original knee? There's the original Holy knee. Holy crap. So then they put a plate there. Missing all that stuff. Yeah. So the plate got, she cut the bone down here and screwed the plate gotcha. in and then attached it to the top. Anyway, so the dog's on fentanyl and all their hard drugs right now. She's got a cone and she's got a shaved ass. <laughs> okay. So she's walking around the house crying, just <laughs> no idea what's going on. Drugged out of her mind. I think that's right? how we found Ron the waiter. <laughs> That's right. Wait, 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 the dog's on Justy fentanyl. didn't hit her head on the sink. The dog has, wait, <laughs> on fentanyl, has a cone and a shaved ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's her ass. I'll show you her ass. You want to see her ass? I'll show you her ass. Yeah, I think I do. I, let's be honest. I think I do. Um, <laughs> there's Millie taunting her. <laughs> wait, for sure that. All right, there's my daughter getting in the cone. We saw Millie on the live. Ha ha. Oh, my ha -ha, God. Ha ha, you wacko. There's wait. her ass. Look, she's all freckly. She, oh, show that. They Wait, they shaved all they of that? They shaved her whole butt down. The lower back. The whole yeah, lower look back. At all that. That's just the butt. And you can see all her weird-ass freckles. Yeah. When we shave our dog down, do the summer shave down, it's always creepy to see it's what gross. they look like without their fur. It looks like a football. Yeah, it it's like so football, bad. Right? It looks Fire like a pig's shirt. ass. Anyway. Ah, wow. so, so fentanyl. Cone. Shaved butt. Some other. Some so, other uh, so the dog's got to be out of its fucking mind. She's. So drunk, so they had to do a, a a um a test before the surgery. So they had to they had to get her all messed up the day before. So when she came home, I had to pick her up. She came home and she was drunk. She was she couldn't she couldn't walk straight. Oh I had to carry her. Her God. eyes were looking. She was wall eyed. She's drooling everywhere. Right. And I thought it was cute. And then after bringing her home from uh, from the actual surgery, it wasn't cute anymore. And then she's all, she's really in pain. You can see the bionic leg. 
Oh, it's gross. And is it gonna? Is she gonna be normal eventually? Yeah, well, let's hope so. A relatively normal. Let's life? hope so. Yeah, she'll be so a little in, slower. In now. eight weeks, she should be eighty percent. Oh my God, you're in hell. Yep. You know, you guys gotta give Matt money. He's give me money. Hell. Give He's me money, hell. my dog. <laughs> give me money. Give money, or we're gonna put the dog down, right? Right. That's right. That's right. Let's give me money. Give, or the give puppy money gets it, or the dog goes down. Uh, it's like wow. that National Lampoon's cover. Yes. Wow, that's terrible. Buy this magazine, and the dog gets uh, gets shot. Yeah. Right. And it, it costs how much? Thirty. Thirty-two hundred dollars. Thirty-two hundred. We we did this on the live stream, but what's the what's the price when you go? You know what? I love you, but it's over, Johnny. Yeah, that was like thirty-three hundred. Thirty-three. You were right there. <laughs> you were right there. I mean, she hit her head on the ceiling on that one. That's because your transmission went. If your transmission, transmission went, and, go, and I got a real baby coming. Right? Well, you know what you could do? Cut the leg off because that's got to be cheaper. And they don't miss it. They don't even know they have it. I don't know, man. I see those dogs in the park, and they look like they're struggling. They're not happy. They're only on three I legs, I think they're man. completely content with it. it. You don't think they notice? Let's let's do some research on that and circle back so I don't feel like a total jerk. I but think, I think that a dog with no legs is just as happy as a dog with five. No legs or missing Wait, one? bobbing in the ocean. A dog, <laughs> and you said a dog with five. Yeah. I mean, I Oh, you're talking extra about legs. It may make you happier. Oh. So if it's the amount of legs equals your happiness, a five-legged dog's got to be through the, you know, to the moon. You should have got a little like uh, cart, a little cart yeah, for the dog. I know that's what Jim wanted. She's like, she doesn't have a, a wagon. She wanted a wagon for <laughs> no, you. She thought it'd be cute. Like, yeah, we could raise her. Cute. You could race her, make some money at the track. <laughs> right. You pay off her her turd leg. So the dog is just hobbling around and just sleeping a lot because of the fentanyl she's not even sleeping she's just wandering zombie like and, you're, you're, and standing she doesn't want to lay down so she's standing she starts shaking because she's standing too long and doesn't even realize are it. you worried the dog's going to be addicted to fentanyl i'm not worried about all it all of a sudden your dog's gonna be missing in the middle of the night because it's trying to get some fentanyl no you can't get none of that around there man she's got a long way to go you're not in one of those fentanyl areas up there no it's probably just meth oh you're in a meth area probably it used to be heroin. Can we say that on the? Yeah, I guess. It's terrible, obviously. Anyway. That's just terrible. They're all dead. Um. All right. So that's the update on the dog. I was wondering. Yeah, she'll be all right, but but it's a lot. It's my my poor mom has to take care of her. Well, how the hell is she doing that? She's uh, she's an old lady. I wasn't gonna say that, but she's older, and she's now older, she's, and, and yeah. now she's got to deal with a dog with a repaired back right leg. Yeah. The Rear passenger side. Oh my That's, god! I like that one a lot. My god. Um. Anyway, I gotta check my chili. All right, go. Um, go. You want to have, have some more of that uh, beef stew? Yeah. Hi, y'all. I would love to. Honest question. Are we up for honest questions? Honest, actual question. Do you think Norton's wife was born? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, dude. I don't know, man. Yeah. I, uh, uh, pass. Yeah, we'll leave it alone. Try to leave some of this stuff alone. I'm a fan of like, this is what I'm a fan of, Robert. Didn't what are you a fan me? of? Whatever makes you happy as long as you're not hurting yourself or others. I agree. And I've always uh, lived by that motto. Yep. Some of the stuff I didn't understand growing up, but I always lived by that motto. It's a good motto to live by. I think it's an easy motto to live by. Who gives a fuck? I don't give a fuck. Live and let live. I don't care if you're in love with a stupid tree. There are people out there that are, you the know, tree huggers. They, 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 yeah, they, yeah. And then they have to visit the tree in the park. When, and then they get pissed off when people like are hanging out by their tree. I don't think I've gotten to that level yet. If you, that, that's, our, that's when you start, that's when you call the men in the white coats. No, the, the people true. in the white coats. No, there are people. I, I know. Do you know what axolism is? You're way too into Guns N' Roses or or uh, what, Beverly what, Hills Cop. Don't look it up. I'll tell you, people. The, the, do you know what axolism is? No. That's uh, people that are really, really into having uh, sex with armpits. Uh, I don't know why I know that. Why did that come up? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what showed up in your algorithm? No, I'm, I'm not even looking it up. But why did that? Why things fall into my head from like doing radio for all those years? All of a sudden, some dumb thing pops Ooh, in my head. That was a Flying. Falling yeah. in love with tree. Let me see if I can find an article. Woman falls in love with an oak tree. Face. Oh, wait. Why can't you see my shit? Uh, they got Matt. Oh, they did. Nice. Have you ever heard of the people that fall in love with uh, trees? Um, 
um, look, woman falls Arbor, in love. What, what would they be? Do you know what Arbor, axial, Arbor Amores? Do you know what axialism is? Huh? Axialism? Axialism? Yeah. When you love. Love, you love, love. No, that, he said that. Or uh, Beverly Hills Cop. It's people that uh, love to have sex with armpits. Oh, my gosh. That's I weird. guess I'm going to have to learn that one. That's weird. <laughs> Sonia, a 45 year old. Yeah, but what if you're a female? Did you love to have sex with armpits? How's that work? I, is it I like, guess it. I guess it. Is it just like torso scissoring? Like that's a, a gator, great like a, band a, name. A gator fight. <laughs> that's a great <laughs> band name. Um, we, all right. So this is broad Sonia. This is this is BS, right? Is this really thick? She's from Vancouver Island. Intimacy coach has announced that she is head over heels in love with an oak tree near her house. Her love for nature has thrown light on being an ecosexual. Ooh. <laughs> that's it. Damn. Like that. You should be like lumber sexual. Remember that was when you when you when you were a citified fool, you wore a, a plaid shirt. Mm -hmm. You were lumber sexual. I couldn't pull off the plaid shirt ever. I got too my, my features. You were the, we we came of age in the nineties. No, my features that. are too feminine for the fucking <laughs> lumberjack stupid <laughs> shirt. So an ecosexual, is it loving nature too much or is it activism? That's a good question. We have all heard of tree huggers, but Sonia, an intimacy coach from Vancouver, has taken her love for Mother Nature one step further. She has announced that she's in, uh, she's actually in a relationship with a tree. With a tree. Oh, I hope the tree breaks up with her. I mean, what well, now? Let's let's think about this objectively, right? The tree probably oh, is a really oh sorry probably a really good listener. Yeah. <laughs> But what else do you do Sleeps like a with the tree? Well, oh, is, that, is, this, is this the reveal? Well, I'm about to tell you. All right, you. tell us. She's announced that she's in a relationship with an oak tree near her house and that she began having erotic experiences for the tree. For the tree? What is for the tree in the summer of 2021? Not with the tree. Uh, where do you find the rest of the article? Which thing do I click on? I think it ended. Continue reading. Oh, continue That's never reading. good. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Her relationship with the tree has put the spotlight on ecosexuality, a rather new form of sexuality in which one professes love and attraction for Mother Nature. We dig deeper and find out what exactly is being. No, I'm not digging deeper. This article goes on forever. No. I'm sexually attracted to this beer. So here. Oh, what is that? <clears throat> See, I told you we'd get us drinking. I don't want to drink. What I'm, is a, I'm an ale sexual. <laughs> Go. That's a uh, lambic. Yes, it is. Wow, look at this guy. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Shoot, dude. There's a naked lady on the bottle. Cheers. This is the one I was talking about. What is it? Oh, that's the one you brought home from Belgium. Got, it's got a naked lady on there. All right, careful with the naked lady. Careful, oh, she's careful, covered. Careful. She covered. She's covered. All right. You can see that she's nude. She's plump. Oh, no, Rubenesque, it's called. Nipples. There's nipples. There's... No, no. Oh, okay. That's all right. It's cartoony, right? It's cartoon. Uh, who knows? Still oh, yeah. Up. There you go. I'm still trying to figure out. She's excited to be on that label. So this beer takes. Yeah, whatever with this lady. Oh, we'll find so, oh, no, no, it's, I was, I was it's stupid. You, uh, it's stupid. Some cover while you, while you turn on your porn search. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. This is the coffee. I'm sniffing the wrong thing. <laughs> you pour this in your coffee. Oh, wow, this is very uh, raspberry. -y. So it has raspberry in it, but wait till you taste it. That tastes great. That raspberry goes away real fast. Ooh. Oh, damn. That's what we need. What am I tasting? Brewery. Man, what am I tasting for so, real? I got the raspberry. Lactobacillus. It's an infectious yeast strain that inoculates the beer early stages, and then they age it. There's a one-year, a two-year, and a three-year-old that are blended back together to create the final product with whole local cherries, scarby cherries that they add into the, into the bung of the cask. I'm allergic to cherries. That's all right. Yeah, but you're not really allergic to cherries, are you? Yeah, me what? too. Yeah, thanks, Matt. I have Why two heavy pens in the car. Oh, this will be fun. Let's more see what happens. More Bottoms more up. Beer. No, it's it's. Why don't we use one epi pen and put it in the middle of the room and see who could get to it first? I think it's. I, I think we're fine. I think it, I think we're. It's, I, I hope you like plump, luscious lips because that's what happens when I have cherries. <laughs> Those feminine features really come out. All of a sudden, my lips will go. Boom. Get you dressed in plaid. I was kidding. It's raspberry. Well, that, that, that's a big difference. I'm double allergic to raspberry. That's oh, a big. Oh, that's no. a big difference. Yeah, it is. 
It's quite good, but it's not a shooting beer. This is a good, like, as Matt you know, shoots it. I was going to pair it with the, the beef stew, but I forgot. No, this is this would be perfect with that beef stew, the Belgian beef stew. We this tried. is this would be good in the summer. Yes, sir. Anyway, I, I don't know. I was trying to find out if that lady was actually having relations with the tree. I mean, I yeah, I don't want to explore. That's just someone that wants attention, right? There's there's no I way you, the tree comes out as gay and stuff. Like, what the hell? This I, lady keeps coming over here. Oh, then it, then the then the tree's being assaulted. She keeps flicking her sapling at me. <laughs> I remember when I was you know going through the. Uh, Holy crap! Puberty stage. You know, you'd rub against some shit. A tree? I think so. I might have. Huh? Then you got some hunters off in the distance watching <laughs> through a scope doing the same damn thing. I don't know. I think I might have. You know, when those stupid boners popped, with you know, at the weirdest times. <laughs> I still get my math class boners. I, I miss the I miss the weird just popping of boners. You miss that? I kind of do. We're all saying like, oh my God, what well, you know, you're not even thinking about anything. You don't go grocery shopping, huh? <laughs> what did I miss? Oh, that's grocery stores are great for that. People nice melons. People walking around the people for me it would be yeah, yeah, those it's, cans. Like, oh Wait, you all get the, all the sure. You get not not by the I'm not by the groceries themselves, by the, the ladies in the grocery No, store. I'm talking no, that that's the obvious. I'm talking about where <laughs> like I was a caddy. And I would oh. and I would be caddying for a bunch of old guys. Very no, well, I don't know. Uh, very what old. Kind of sexual is that when you're a caddy and you're into your old? No, ladies. very old lady. It's a caddy shack sexual. It's a <laughs> caddy sexual. And all of a sudden you would pop one. You're like, this no, there's nothing good. Why now? And then I would have to like belt it down. I had a belt with my shorts for that reason. <laughs> So you shifted into third gear and then belted it in. Is that what happened yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Third on the column. Yeah. <laughs> Three on the tree. The we're one. bad. We're back to trees I'm the again. Only one back to trees. That's right. Good circle. I'm the only one that got the random boners. The only one on the golf course. Just you're the only one that no. admitted it. No, when you're a lot younger, it all of a sudden it was like, why is this happening now? There was no reason for it to happen, but it did. I I will tell you that's why I to this day. I do not wear sweatpants out of my own house. Yeah, well, that's smart. I mean, I've been, I've, I've, I've looked at a, a nice sunset and said, "Well, that's gorgeous," but I never felt the need to. No, felt the need to rub to, one out to the sunset. No, of course you know. not. Maybe you still got a boner anyway, even though you didn't feel the need. I like a good sunset, but it has nothing to do with anything. But hey, I don't want to kink shame. Everybody's got their something. No, you got to shame the ecosexuals. That's stupid. no. They, they may be perfectly nice people, and I'm and, not. I'm not accepting. Yeah, but like, who says like, she's going to claim that tree? What if I wanted that tree? Well, you know, I know. Now I got a problem with you. No, if she's oh jealous, God, that, other people are using the tree. She you have just with. given the writers at Dick Wolf Central a uh, a new like Law and Order uh, the topic. Oh, oh. That's a new rip from the headlines. Right. Why were they murdered? Well, they they fell in love with the same tree in Central Park. Yeah, that's just uh, no. Well, I'm not accepting that. I'm sorry. I think we pretty much did it. I wanted to just show off the bar on a Saturday. It is. It's nice. It's nice in here on a Saturday. It's chill on a on a Saturday. Well, these guys are dying to you know crank up houses in the holy. Trust me. That's oh, the go, that's the go to on Saturday. The full record. Yes. You know, I I forgot how great that record was. Can't show that cover on on the internet anymore. Oh, that's right. Um, that is a great record. There's not a bad song off How there's, I Hold. don't think there's a bad song on any of the original Led Zeppelin albums at all. Can I? All right, here's where. Can you name a bad Led Zeppelin song? Hot Dog. That was bad. <laughs> that before, was fast, Coda, right, before Coda. Before Coda. <laughs> Hot, hot dog. dog, it's uh, oh, hot dog. It's so stupid. Yeah, but that gave us the hunt. That that was the prequel to the Honey Drippers. Uh, yeah, that that was the Coda album, right? I don't even think there's a good. Yeah, song but the Coda album was like John Bonham's dead. Let's just pull everything off the floor and and and. Wait, let me look up the. Coda. Although Darlene, that's a good one. I like Darlene. No, it's not. All right, let's look up the the songs from Coda. Coda Led Zeppelin. Right? Co. Is it Co? Yes. It's the only album I never bought. 
Oh, I have a, and, I have an original. A, I have an original pressing. And I was a huge fan. Bought of it at the Crazy Rhythms in Montclair. I, I was so disappointed in this album. We're gonna groove. I'm gonna go right yeah, through okay. these. Poor Tom, that's a good one. Poor Tom, I can't quit you, baby. Uh, uh, they did another version of I Can't Quit You. Wait, do I know that? Yeah, was they, the first one was on. Uh, no, I know that. Actually, no, that's. Wait, are they doing all the songs? Yeah, they are, because it's Darlene. Darlene, Ozone, Ozone Baby, Baby, Bonzo's Montrose, great. Walter's Walk, Bonzo's Montrose. Wearing and Terry Hot right? Dogs run in through the outdoor, I think, right? Oh, shit, you're right. You're just, right. I just learned that. In through the outdoor, I had Hot Dog. In through. This is this is bonus time. Don't Just go watch something else. We don't need you anymore. Uh, in through the outdoor uh zeppelin songs okay yeah hot dog was off this and this album was schizo is all hell in the evening which is amazing southbound suarez oh wait king of the zaz i ain't gonna blow off super chats at this point <laughs> uh fool in the rain yeah that's a good one hot dog and then stupid hot dog uh, Carousel, that's a, long, that's that's a long one. All my love is great. That's a good. That was a hit. I'm gonna crawl. That was another I'm hit. I'm gonna crawl. It was that hot dog song. I was stupid. But you need a you need a connectivity. You know, you need a, a filler song. They were looking for a hit. Well, for, that's what all my love is about. His son, who was uh, what died. Who's Robert Plant's first son? Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Car accident or something yep. like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I see you opened up the bar, Matt. We're opening up the bar. No, nah, well, let's start wrapping up so you can do this proper, man. Uh, Matt's opening up uh, Get Fox. Wait till you get a customer. You'd be here till like 3.30. No, I, I ran out of stuff to talk about. So oh, oh, it right, made right, it. Right, now, right. We're, now, we're, now we're going through the Led Zeppelin It catalog. made sense to go, oh, wow, we got to go. He's opening up the bar. No, the, the reality is I ran out of stuff to talk about for today. Unless you got something. You got something, little foot? What do you got? Give me one thing you got. I think we hit. I think we covered everything. It was on my prep sheet. <laughs> prep sheet. I haven't had a prep sheet in eight years. <laughs> no shit. Um. All right. I guess. Uh, what did we learn today? We learned that the beef stew was awesome. Matt did get us to drink. Yes. Yeah. Sort of. No pints. No, no pints. pints. No. I I tried your Mexican lager. It's not a pint, so you're fine. That smells really good, and I would actually drink this later today, maybe. And then we tried the Lambic. But you said he'd actually drink the other one. So, I don't know, maybe like Mexican lager is better than Belgian ale. You want to know the truth? Yeah, I do. Truth time? Truth time. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't like Lambics. Oh. All right. Yeah, you should shut it down then. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Boo, 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 boo.